What's up YouTube, Taylor here with Boogie Lakes. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this Club Car four-seater golf cart. This thing has over 20 feet of LEDs on it and the customer brought it in to get the entire golf cart package. Now, what that includes is our standard golf cart kit, which comes with four three-foot LED strips. So that's two for the underglow and two for the canopy. Uh, and then we added some strips for the front uh, and the rear as well. So in this video, we're going to walk you through uh, all the details about how to mount those lights, where to run the wiring, the controller placement, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so if we take a look at this front strip here first, he's got a three-foot strip running just underneath the uh, front fairing here. Uh, and so what you're going to do is you're going to take some alcohol and you're going to really get up in there and wipe that surface real well. And then you're going to take some of our 3M promoter next. Now that stuff is extremely important. It's, it's the glue, as it were. Uh, and once you put that down, the lights are only coming off if you want them off. And so once you remove, remove that taping from the back of the LED strip there, you're going to slowly place that light right where you want it there. And then the wiring is going to run uh, down behind the wheel well here, and it runs along the bottom of the uh, golf cart there. And you actually have to drill a few holes in the plastic there, so that way you can get a wire tie around it. Uh, to hold it in place now for you can see the wiring there it runs actually right here it runs down through this and it goes down underneath the uh, frame there now for underneath he's got two three foot led strips there that are attached right there on the actual frame itself and then the wiring goes right up here. There's actually a small hole that's already in place there that runs right into the bottom of the, uh, from the seat here. So you can either find an existing hole to run your wiring up, or on these golf carts, it's really easy just to drill a small hole uh, and run your wiring up like that. Now the cool thing about this golf cart kit is it does come with a push button on off switch. Uh, so when you're driving at night, a lot of times these canopies can be quite blinding. So by putting that switch in, it allows you to kill that canopy light while still leaving on the underglow there for a nice ambient lighting. So to wire and run these canopy lights, uh, these are three foot strips up here. And there's several different options for placement. Uh, you can either go directly to the top right in the middle here. Um, or you can go uh, kind of where there's uh, right by the handle here. Now, the problem with putting them straight down is they're right down over top of your head. They can be even more blinding there. And then you can actually see them uh, as you're walking up to the cart. So the key is to try to hide them as much as possible. And, and the, the canopy is hard because you can't actually hide them fully. So what we did is we put them out here way on the edge where they're still shining a little bit down. Um, but they're actually hidden. Uh, by the edge here so as you're walking up to the cart you don't actually see those leds you only see them once you're inside the golf cart and then for the wiring of them you'll see in the back here all these uh, golf carts with an awning here they have a nice hollow uh, frame that runs down so you can fish your wire right down through that uh, and then there's two bolts that hold this in place so fishing that wire down through those bolts can be a little tricky so what i did is i left that one in place and I removed the bottom one here. So that way when I fished the wire down, I only had to fish it by one set of bolt there. And then the other one, since it was removed, it just went all, it just went straight down. So it made fishing that wire down much easier. And then it comes out, it comes out right above your wheel here. Uh, so you'll actually see it come out and you can pull it out. And then right in the back here, there was a small hole uh, that we were able to fish that wire through. So it's the same on both sides. You can see that one's for the left side of the canopy. And then the one over here is for the right side of the canopy there. And then that's all our wiring that uh, we wrapped in tubing there uh, to make sure it's nice and protected. And now as we move to the back, he's got a three foot strip on the bottom of the frame here. And there's a couple of different places you can put it. You can put one, you can put it all the way out here at the edge. But the problem with that is uh, it can be kicked or it can, uh, debris can hit it. 
Uh, and as well as when you're 10, 15 feet away from it, you'd actually be able to see that strip. So by putting it farther in and underneath in there, uh, you can't see it when you're walking up and it's better protected. And now to run that wiring, we just drilled a hole in the back of this fairing right here. And then that fishes straight through uh, up into where the batteries are. And if you look at the footwell, there's actually a little door here that just pops out with two pins. So once you pull that off, it gives you nice open work area there uh, to run your wires. So you can see that one is coming from the bottom and then the top one is for the footwell here. So right above you, there's a one foot strip on the bottom of this footwell here. And then the wiring just runs right up into this corner here where we drilled a hole and ran the wire straight through that. And then right where it goes through, you can see that little crack there that runs right into where the bottom of the seat is. Now this is a completely electric golf cart. So it's running on a 48 volt system. Now all of our lights are powered by 12 volts. So that means you have to put a voltage reducer in line there in order to operate those lights. And since we are using our super series controller, this thing uh, is capable of powering up to 600 LEDs. So we can always add LEDs uh, as he goes. It's also our combo controller. So he can either operate it with our wireless handheld RF remote, or he can use his phone with our Bluetooth app as well. And the cool thing about the app is it gives you 16 million different color combinations. And then you can also program certain colors. So if he just wants this to cycle through red, white, and blue for 4th of July, or if he just wants it to cycle through red and green for Christmas, he can do that. Now, if we take a look at where that controller is placed there, you'll see that super controller right there on the side wall with the inline fuse. And then if you look a little further down there, that kind of gold, that's the voltage reducer. It was very easy to put in, in line there. The lights just go right to your controller module, and then that controller module runs to your voltage reducer, and then the voltage reducer runs to your battery. And we do sell those on our website. Now all of our connections are made right here in the middle, and then you'll just see the hot running to the, uh, the hot of the battery, and the ground running to this ground. When you're working with, uh, these are all eight volt batteries, um, you have to combine more than one. So by putting it at the first in the series and the last in the series, you'll get a combined 48 volts there. And you'll also see we put in a small push button switch right here. Um, so when you are storing golf carts, a lot of times uh, you're storing golf carts for the, for the winter or whatnot, you'll see that little light right there on the controller. That's always on. Uh, so whenever you're storing these, you want to have a complete kill switch uh, that turns that little light off. That way you're not pulling any excess uh, power out of your batteries. And now in the front of it, right next to his little shifter there, you'll see another small push button. That's for turning off the canopies. Uh, that also comes with a piece of tape on it, so you could just stick that on there. But what we did is we drilled a small hole in the front of that, uh, and then we fished that through, and you screw on the other side of that kill switch. Now it is getting warmer out, spring and summer are right around the corner. Uh, so if this is something that you're interested in, please go to our website at boogielights.com and check out our golf cart kits there. Everything that you see here was done in-house in Florence, Kentucky at Boogie Lights. Give us a call and get lit up today.